book is a fabulous poem. And there are some poetry books that you can go out in and you can kind of pick and choose what you want. This one, the powers that be, picked what they thought were the very best, and you guys are the very best. So thank you very much for being in this book. Without you, the book wouldn't be here, and nobody, especially me, wouldn't be happy today. So thanks a lot, and I will read three of my poems. I'm going to read a blank verse, then I'm going to read a rhyming thing I wrote, which rhymes oddly, but I have my own odd rhymes. Then I'm going to read a Villanelle. I've really gotten into Villanelles in the last month and a half. Like, I mean, I truly love them. And I never knew they existed before Bernice told me. <laughs> there you go. The first one is Tangerine Circle. A tangerine circle. Blazing, shining, brilliantly, draped lazily over a bleached white mountain, bathed in sparkling diamonds, unsullied, untouchable. Blue notes burn out in a moment of redemption, painted as red as this. Holy blood spills softly in a shower of baptismal rain, washing all sins asunder. The tangerine circle shimmers, exudes, vibrates. A silver polished pail pours blazing stars onto the pale gray canvas below, burning pathways through kaleidoscope crystal canyons, snaking silently toward the sacred castle deep that holds the tangerine circle in the pale, pulsating palm of its white satin glove. Hand clenches into a fist. Twilight awakens. The tangerine circle dims, darkens, sleeps. I really like thinking about ships. I'm a little bit afraid of water, but I like thinking about ships. So this ship of dreams is, uh, Really not about a ship at all. Okay, the ship of dream has tattered scenes and my heart doth bewail. The broken mast of love's reed past shoring up its sail. And all the live long while, no measure of a smile, no consolation gleaned from happenstance, a brief romance, a passing dance in cold fell clutch of circumstance. The curtain falls amongst cat calls. There's no one to applaud. The frailty of hearts crushed in love where passion's hoof has trod. Years pass like fog, wet, waterlogged. All the days, a drifting haze, nondescript nights, the dimming of lights. And later, on some golden pond, your pale ghost may arise to shine your smile into my eyes and take my heart beyond the earthly confines of this life, away from heartache, meals of strife, where we can drift on ship of dreams, sea worthy with tight seams and metal that won't fail, a mass of sturdy elm with love's hand at the helm, shoring up its everlasting sail. Uh, now my villanelle, which I just couldn't wait to get to here. <laughs> a broken wind chime. I've seen a few. I don't know if anyone else has. They quite intrigued me. A snow-cast heart, frozen in time, unrecognizable, beating no more, hanging beside a broken wind chime. Silent creature in pantomime, in unfinished symphony, no music, no score. A snow-cast heart, frozen in time. Robbed of its rhythm, robbed of its rhyme, locked in a steel cage, no window, no door, hanging beside a broken wind chime. Inside this prismatic paradigm, with teardrops refracting deep in its core, a snow-cast heart, frozen in time in a bed of dampened dreams and burnt lime, a remnant of what it was before, 
hanging beside a broken wind chime. Love leaves behind a most grievous crime in the wake of her careless swagger and sway. A snow-cast heart frozen in time hanging beside a broken wind chime. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody. We're going to take a few minutes. Poetic justice happens. There's three features. We're going to, you know, just let's all mingle and square dance and re too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everybody. Please mingle, enjoy, and I really appreciate you guys all so much. If I have anything to say on the roster at Heaven, you're all getting it.